Is this the best lounge at Disney World? Parts of the Bay here today, we're hanging out at Animal Kingdom Lodge, Jumbo House, because it's time to fall down some stairs. We're going to Victoria Falls. Yes, it's been a very long time since we've been here, and we love this lounge. It's time to show you why. As your number one choice of foodie for Tammy, we want to share all the things with you. So remember, she's vegan. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to trip this time. It's time to foodie and chill. be saving wolves with this one because it's not a painted wolf but it is a pinotage and so anytime we come to Animal Kingdom Lodge I almost feel obligated to get a pinotage because it's South African wine and why not they're like one of the best I always try a new wine not as rich as a uh, painted wolf but still very nice medium body you can taste like the cherry notes to it um, this specific brand, only their reds are vegan, their whites are not, so don't just go blanket buying them, but it's very good and light. I think it would be a good new entry to Pinotage if you've never had one. I would give it three out of five wines. It'll make me feel fine. I'm amazed at just how much uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge especially has opened our eyes to like the world of Pinotage. We never even heard of Pinotage before we started drinking them here at Walt Disney World. And the fact that they exist, brings my life joy, especially coming here to Victoria Falls and specifically Animal Kingdom Lodge. Like I've always said, this is the perfect date night resort because you can come here before your reservation, like we do sometimes, have a drink at Victoria Falls. Even if you don't have that, you want to take a bus from Animal Kingdom here for a date, you have Victoria Falls. Once you're done having a conversation here, you can go down to the Jico Lounge. You can take the shuttle over to Kidani Village and have a drink over in the lounge at Sanaa. You have the pool bar out here. You're gonna drink out there for walking to the animals. Like this entire hotel, lounges, food is a vibe, just like the one. Mm. Earthy with a little bit of spice. I like that. This may be one that I try to find at the liquor store. I want a bottle of this in our house immediately. Four point seven five out of five. Galouche is usually reserved for Jungle Skipper Canteen and not usually anywhere else, but when it's on the menu and Bear sees it, I feel like he gets it. I think I've seen it at the Polynesian too, but it's usually like his tried and true anytime we go to Skipper Canteen. It's like, I don't even know how to describe this beer. It's, it's got so many different like notes to it. There's like brightness to it. There's a sweetness to it. There's a hoppiness to it. It's very balanced. It's very nice. I think it's great for new beer drinkers. Um, I would say on the sweetness scale, it's like a zero out of 10. I would give this a four out of five. Mmm, the call of Kung Galoosh. I swear I can hear that from across the resort. I see Kungaloo Spice Ale, Spice Excursion Ale, and I gotta make an excursion to get it. Uh, it's not often you come across it, and it's like one of those beers, it's like, I don't see it, but when I do, I kinda feel like I'm almost obligated to have it. Cheers. Mm. Kungaloo is one of those beers that feels like, say like one of the like bourbon barrel or like wine barrel ales, but, not so it's like a lot more drinkable a lot less heavy and it's got this unique flavor that i just can't i can't pass on if you're a beer drinker this is one beer that you need to find on property if you see it i'm recommending it that's a 4.25 out of 5. now this is a pita uh, unfortunately our beautiful chickpea salad has turned into a pita and I don't really like eating the pita. I like eating the sandwich. So when I get the pita now and we're here at um, Victoria Falls, you get a fork. So I'm just gonna fork the inside of it and just appreciate it this way. So I feel like if you get some chips and then you fork this, you're in for a good time. They don't even give you tabbouleh anymore. That is a superior salad um, mixture of all the things. And I really wish that Disney would serve them in more places. I hate that we have to go to the Maya for it and it's served in a pita. Not as good as it used to be, but it's still good. Like I could, I could just swim in buckets 
of this salad. It's just amazing. It's a five out of five. It's a princess city's item. I get it even when I shouldn't get it. Animal Kingdom Lodge is really one of those places where like, again, it's very vibey. The food is all good. And it's like, there's so much food to eat here, almost more than I have stomach to eat it. It's very frequent that we come here. You know they do have like one vegan option here at Victoria Falls that we will walk down to the Mara and grab and go any of their stuff and just bring it back up here because the drinks are better here. But you have choices. It's not a far walk and you can come and just snack away. You can get a whole dinner and just eat it right here in Victoria Falls. I too like the sandwich better than the pocket. Something about the consistency of the pocket just doesn't work well. When you get one that's especially wet, it tends to fall apart. If you can, you go to get one. Make you look at dates. Try to get the freshest one possible in the cooler. Anything other than that is doing yourself a disservice. I'll give it four out of five bucks. Here we have the Jerk Dumet. So this is one of the newest items here at Victoria Falls. We came here just to drink and then saw new things and then, well, we had to eat. These feel like the Animal Kingdom Lodge version of the peanut butter and jelly wings you used to be able to get at Steakhouse 71 and that they had during Food and Wine, actually this year. Uh, but yeah, a pepper, jelly, and crushed peanuts on top. They smell delicious. Now you only get three, but duck, it's sort of like this very rich meat to begin with. So I don't really know if I can handle more than three. Let's find out. Pepper jam. It's a nice, subtle savory that just goes amazing with the duck. The peanuts. I don't really add a bunch to the texture, but you can definitely feel them. That's something to savor. This is a taste that I don't ever want to leave my mouth. It's delicious. You definitely need to try these. More Druck Dumets. This is not the first time I've had Duck Dumets, but it's definitely one I'm going to remember. Four and a half out of five minutes. Next beverage, though it looks like the last one, is a red blend. Red blend. Chakalaka from Spice Road. So like Spice Road, Chakalaka makes me just think about Spice Road Table and Boma. I love both those restaurants, so maybe I'll love this drink. Wow. It's a lot more tart than the the Groot Pinotage. I think I like the Groot Pinotage a little bit more than this one. This was more like front of the nose, like tartness, whereas like the Groot was more like back of the mouth. And I kind of like that a little bit more. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna give this wine a three out of five wines. It doesn't make me feel as fine as a Pinotage would. I like a good name of a wine that's extremely hard to pronounce. Red blends though can be a very mixed bag. It can be blended well. Or it's going to be a mix of things that maybe you don't always love, but chocolate? Hmm. Well, it's got a very interesting, like, aroma to it. It sort of, like, permeates top of your mouth. Uh, with that sharpness, it's definitely one that's a little bit... I, wouldn't, I don't want to say the word smooth, like, less than smooth. But it's a different complexity of a beverage than the Pintage. Uh, it's nothing wrong with it, but it's not something that's going to stick in my memory as something like a Pintage would. It's definitely drinkable, but is it rememberable? Rememberable, blah, blah, blah. Three out of five bars. This is the real reason you come to Animal Kingdom Lodge and Animal Kingdom proper is to have weird things floating in your drinks. This is the hibiscus margarita. It's given that uh, Black Panther uh, heart-shaped herb sort of looking beverage that used to have here. Doesn't smell floral, but does it taste floral? Ooh, that's quite good. It strikes a nice balance of the tartness of a normal margarita with the floral. So you don't really feel like you just like licked the flower or inhaled perfume. But it's got like a nice like mildness to it while still being very, very much margarita. I would give this 3.75 out of 5 claws. It's definitely worth a sip or three.
I love falling for Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls is literally one of our favorite bars and it's not just because of their limited menu. I think it's also because we can go grab food from the Mara and then eat it there and have amazing beverages. So you have like a nice AC if it's super hot out. Um, outside of what you saw us order, I did also she get me Nike. some of these Aaron McKenna's brownie bites. Um, only place outside of Disney Springs you can get Aaron McKenna's is here at Jumbo House. There was also the sunflower cake which we've had before on this channel. I just didn't feel like spending $12 on dessert tonight, but I'm She got a half. dessert. I like my wings. They very much remind me of the wings at Contemporary for the peanut butter and jelly wings, but I think these had a slight edge, even though you got less wings. The vegan option is the olives, so if you want to see what that is like, uh, check out our last video that I'm not a fan of. I don't know what you guys think. Have you stopped at Victoria Falls, or do you just walk by it on the way to the Mara, Jiku, or Boma? If you're missing that, you're missing out. But I need you to let me know in the comments below and if there's any other lounges, bars, or otherwise you'd like to see us do, be it at Disney or Universal, that will always be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't go to Victoria Falls at 5 o'clock, that's right, 5 o'clock, you're going to miss the drum show, and then Bear's going to have to yeet himself into the drum show. So you should just comment. Don't let, let me get yeeted. You heard the girl. <laughs>